All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Slept very well last night. You know, I, you know. Woke up very early, like 6:30 a.m. Right, but I got, but I went to bed at like 10:48 p.m. So, you know, um, yeah, definitely. If you're having trouble sleeping, the first thing you should look at is your exercise and calorie intake. Uh, you know, because that might be an indicator of. Um, uh, Eating too much uh, that you're more than your body can handle. So your body compensates by making you stay up longer. Because you burn more calories when you're awake as opposed to sleeping where you burn minimal calories. So in my case, I burn about 86 calories an hour when I'm sleeping. Uh, but, I'm, but when I'm awake and sitting in this chair essentially all day, it's like 126 calories. So basically it's a... Um, you know what? Fuck that. You know, like this. I don't know. Maybe it is cleaner, actually. Uh, it's like a 50%, essentially a 50% increase in calorie burn. So, because like, I was listening to uh, the leader of the Group Uprising show yesterday. Um, and, uh, yeah, he actually complained that he had trouble sleeping. And then, he, he did, I don't think he realized that he took in way too many calories for his size. Like, he had, like, cheeseburgers. He had chili. He had a bunch of stuff, and he's like, oh, I feel sick. Yeah, because, you know, he, he, well, he did say he kind of ate too much, but I don't think he realized it's a much bigger uh, effect on him than, uh, you know, not just making him feel sick, but also affecting his sleep schedule. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, I didn't really do too much research. Right? I was doing some, uh, looking for some tweets for, uh, you know, the 100 coin thing. Um, oh, man. Stupid Firefox, and uh, yeah, I actually got Nick got back to me. So uh, 100 coin will be listed on Crex uh, any time, like either today or maybe tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and I just had to clarify some things. I still have to actually go through my emails with the the Crex guy and uh, make some plans for the future. But overall, I think things are looking okay, um, and we'll get into that. So first things first, search interest for this week has risen to 19. It's finally been released. So that's a very good sign. So people are starting to take notice. Crypto has been going up, so that's good. And based on this, I can actually say that some of this is actually motivated by the normies who are finally getting into crypto. We've got a stimulus coming in. we got a lot of fear and paranoia. Uh, the markets apparently are up. So everything's looking pretty good. You know, We're going to be making some money, hopefully. Bitcoin does at 60.8%, 24-hour volumes at 84.5 billion. Uh, Bitcoin is at 11,609, so as we can see, it's finally going up. Everything's basically going up. We're just going to let the trend lines draw up. Uh, Litecoin is 59.19, so that's very good. All right, now it's, it's not going up as much as fast as I want, but all right, I'll take it, whatever. Uh, Doggy coin should be up too. Yeah, it's up to four. 47 million market cap, 358%. So overall, a pretty good day. Looks like we're going to be uh, having a very nice day today. So basically, it was basically uh, go up a little bit. Well, it goes up and then pause, and then now it looks it looks to be going up. So this is very good. Uh, markets are up quite substantially as well, so that's a good sign. Oh, actually, we're back up at the 27.1K. Uh, actually, I do want to read this. I want to find out what's going on. Uh, let's put this over here. Uh, yeah, we'll do. I guess I could get this out of the way, but we're not going to go over this. But I, the the news articles that I don't cover on this sh on on this show is actually pretty good for tweeting. All right, that's what I'm finding. So you know, I always say make sure you back up your keys because you don't want to be like this. Now this turns out to be Bitfinex. These assholes kicked us. Uh, it was actually a Hong Kong exchange. That kicked out that kicked out us Americans, which is hilarious. And now they want us to fucking bail them out. And I happen to be Chinese, so hey, maybe uh, you know fucking karma, my friends. You know, like you know, just because you're Chinese doesn't mean you're immune to it. It means you're like masters because it's part of our culture. But it's still like something you have to like. The rules don't change, you know, just because you're X Y Z race or whatever. <laughs> so anyway. Um, yeah, and yeah, I do remember this Bitfinex hack, so yeah, so back up your keys and don't leave your money on exchanges any longer than you have to. 
right? I was very nervous when I was having all this Bitcoin on the, my Crex account to pay the listing fee. I was like, oh my god, please don't get hacked. Please don't get hacked. So, yeah. All right, so we're going to read that article. Lending seized up in the second quarter, of course, because everyone's just locked down. Too much government help leads to zombie companies. Oh, we're doing that stupid bullshit again. Virgin Atlantic Airlines files for U.S. Oh, really? Huh. Well, I mean, Richard Branson's got plenty of money, so, you know, this doesn't really mean anything. But I am curious to read this. Uh, well, we already went over the back up your crypto keys, so we could leave, get rid of that. Um... Beyond Meat quarter two earnings meet expectations. Well, yeah, I mean, it's food. That's why everyone's, I mean, I was buying lots of food. Experts doubt Trump's demand for a what? Uh, demand for a TikTok side pay will hold water. Yeah, I mean, believe it or not, I actually, like, normally I like support something like this, but I'm already, like, iffy about it. And even the uh, Work for Uprising leader mentioned it, too. He clearly reads the same um, dissident right website that I can't even hint at or even kind of infer about. That's banned everywhere on the internet. That's more banned than Alex Jones. Yeah, I mean, we're basically shaking down foreign companies. Like, that's really bad. And a lot of America's economy operates on foreign direct investment, FDI. I mentioned this before. This is really bad in that case. And on top of that, we're just trading China for big tech tyrants anyway, so we don't get anything out of this. And if, like on one hand, it kind of makes a little bit of competition between the big tech companies, so it wears them out a little bit. But on the other hand, I mean, China could have actually have taken a big bite out of Silicon Valley. Sure, our data will be held by the Chinese Communist Party, but how is that any better or worse than when the American government and big tech has our data. It's the same bullshit. Uh, but, I mean, again, people are still paranoid about, like, China this, China that. It's just like, this is what fucking happens. So now we actually have a, less of an attack vector, right? And if you're really that worried about, you know, China and TikTok having your data, just use fake data, right? It's like, how many of you have ever filled out fake info just to get the thing from the email list, right? Fake name, fake address, fake, just, like, I just do, like, you know, like, I don't know, can you see the top? I go like this, all right, at, you know, gmail.com. It's like, I just don't understand, I just don't understand how people are just, like, I can't be the only cunning person in, in this country. That, 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 I'll leave that at that, all right? And there's plenty of, actually, I don't know, are there smarter people than me? It doesn't feel like that in some days. So, I, I don't know, man. But whatever. Um, but I mean, either way, they ban, and then of course TikTok banned the Gripers. So I mean, it's just like all around. It's just like it's just a bunch of assholes fighting for more power, just to be who can be the big asshole that runs over you and me. Uh, that, that's why I just hate the situation so much. Just like everyone's an asshole. <laughs> it's like everyone's an evil, censorious asshole. Uh, all right, I don't care about Jim Cramer. How much money am I going to think they need to retire? Uh, Dow Jones signal. Uh, okay, Dow Jones today jumps two hundred on Disney earnings. Yeah, because everyone's going online. Warner, okay, blah well, blah. Well, it looks like we're getting to old stuff. Uh, let's see. RF same as always. Remmel's doing the same as always. Yeah. Okay. All right. So not much. Uh, this is up six point seven percent. Okay. Very good. Um, damn. I really hope we can trade options on Eben. But, um, I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, okay, so GFC coins at 6 to 7. Uh, yeah, it looks to be doing okay. Just more sales here. Uh, but mostly more buys than sales. It's just a little sluggish. 404 is at 98 to 106. So that's stabilized. Uh, two by two coin, interestingly enough, has recovered. So that's pretty good. So it's at 36 to 42. Um, personally, I just don't know why people are just dumping these cards. I, I honestly do not know. So yeah. Rix is 73 to 92. So unfortunately, this hasn't uh, been helped either. But at least we see some buys finally. Um, so again, I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping the price will go up or stabilize as the major coins up on the front page go up. 
Uh, but it, it, it's uh, it's going to be quite a lot of a pressure, you know. So let's see. I mean, it's annoying because I see mostly greens here, and most of our coins are not there, or at least not remaining neutral. Uh, like again, when I created a hundred coin, like I was thinking about exactly this problem. It's like, yeah, maybe uh, maybe percent based. Cryptos are just not going to be viable anymore, right? You have to set everything to 200% at most. Because right? Platinum Bar Coin is still doing all right. Uh, doesn't look like I have anything new here. Uh, all right, well, let's flip this little. Yep, nothing new here. Bitcoin will get strong. Uh, wait, this looks like yesterday's headlines. I'm going to refresh you too, just in case. 9,000 Bitcoin ATMs are alive, so that's good. I want to buy all the Bitcoins. Uh, Portnoy tells Winkle Boss wins a Bitcoin interview challenge. Yeah, who doesn't? Bitcoin reaches 100k at Binance? CO reports failure. Oh, oh, uh, it's an error. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Bitcoin investors don't shake by selling this flashcard. Data suggests, yeah, I mean, everyone's just buying up, which is perfect for me. Bitfinex is offering a $400 million reward for the return of $1.3 billion stolen in Bitcoin. Yeah, that's... Yeah, trust me. I, I'm willing to bet the people who st actually stole it just don't have it anymore. So, it's... Uh, Bitcoin suppresses 12,000, then tumbles as volatility returns. Bitcoin surpasses 12,000, then tumbles as volatility return. Oh, yeah. I, I was actually thinking about the Bitfinex. I was thinking about a situation where, yeah, give us all the money and we'll give you back the $400 million. I was just thinking, you know, it could be a, a Bitfinex scam. It's like, but no, nah, you know, the implications of that would be bad. Bitcoin gives money. Here's everything you need to know. Top three coins, price prediction, Bitcoin at 30, blah, blah, blah. Travel management firm, CWT pays out for it. Okay. Wait, what? Travel manager for CWT pays out four and a half million dollars in Bitcoin after a ransomware attack. Oh, so they gave in to terrorists. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. On the one hand, it's great for crypto because now everyone's going to use crypto. But on the other hand, these people are going to be like fucking Bitcoin and crypto and all these hacking. You know, like, and then, of course... You know, the same that causes racism and bigotry is going to now start th making these people go, I hate Bitcoin. Yeah, it's, like, it's all nothing but hackers and scammers. Yeah. And of course, you know, they'll have to just get used to it. But as we'll actually see in one of these articles, go away, uh, it's definitely old versus young people. So we're definitely going to, then we're going to top it off today on that. All right. So there's that. All right. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Bitcoin will rise above 400k, says Morgan Creer. Okay. I just realized, now, I just realized I might be able to put on the block explorer a pop up on the bottom or somewhere. Hmm. Because I want to try to put ads on the block explorer so I can get some of my money back for uh, hosting all this crap. Bitcoin will rise above. Okay. And, oh, that reminds me, I do have to like find a really good WordPress thing for the website. Now it says market that knows all just sent major. Oh, that is a really good thumbnail. Oh man, that is such a that is that is the this one was okay too, but this one is so much cooler. All right, that's definitely the thumbnail. Oh, it's 3.3 million Bitcoin. Oh, that's hilarious. So he was able to scam 3.3 million dollars worth of Bitcoin from his Twitter little scheme. Okay. All right, so nothing new here, it looks like, for Trump. Because uh, it was it's fluctuating between 19 and 17 percent, so that's good. The problem uh, is, again, the voter fraud shit. Oh, actually, yeah, 18. So, uh, I mean, people, like, I mean, Kanye West should do the best he can, but if we're going to the voter fraud, mail-in fraud thing, they're just simply going to discard all of Kanye West's votes as well, or just change them to uh, Joe Biden. Has zero infrastructure for mail and vote. It will be a corrupt disaster. Not anybody, of course. It'll take months or years to figure out. Okay. Uh, Trump's got to push up. Uh, so, so this is what. Oh. I'll retweet this. Three, two, one. 
Oh, that's loud. I got into my Tucker Carlson face, I was like, wow. Wow. We're going to space, chat. We're going to space. Uh, NASA was closed at dinner until I got it going again. Now it's the most important place in the world. We have space going on with it. We have a couple of... Uh, Starship SM5. Uh, fly fan test hop. Okay. Well, if Tesla is doing this, it's probably pretty important. You know, basically, well, we're going to send people to and make life multi planet Stay here with the new age of space exploration. I, I do think... What, what this heralds really is fundamentally uh, a new era in space flight, a new era in space exploration. We're, we're going to go to the moon. We're going to have a base on the moon. We're going to have send people to Mars have, and, and make life multiplanetary. And I think this, this day heralds a new age of space exploration. That's what it's all about. I, I do think... See, that's the thing, too. I'm thinking about what are countries going to do. I mean, we're probably just going to claim all the land, and we're going to have, like, you know, World War III in space and shit. Uh, stupid mask bullshit. Uh, okay, so Chris Kolbach has lost. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, I mean, Trump's got to really hammer the... Uh, so you really got to hammer the mail-in voter fraud, but the problem is, what can Trump really do to stop it? Stock market news live updates stop the autoplay. Stocks rose Wednesday. Can you guys see this? Okay, good. Stocks rose Monday. Let me make sure my... I was going to call it bit here. I was actually soda done. Stocks rose Wednesday morning as investors considered a spate of updates around the global. All right, Johnson Johnson has agreed to create 100... Well, we already know that. Moderna. Okay. Let's see. Moderna says they're going to uh, charge 32 to $37 a dose. And sure, see, see, the reason why I don't like any of this is because they're just going to raise the prices. They're going to just, you know, scam people and then make you take it. So it's like, it's a forced. Like after we did, after what we do with TikTok, well, I mean, what's to stop them from forced vaccinations and forced prices? Shares of CVS advance after top expectations in second quarter results. Have uh, CVS is the also, also the company also raised its full year profit guys. Moderna's revenue on 66 million is more than double. A, 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 a. Disney stock extended overnight gains after the company reported mixed third quarter results Thursday Tuesday evening, but expected eked and adjusted uh, profit per due to the pet thing. Oh yeah, one reason why I don't want to go to the CVS near me is because there was I don't know if I told the story, but I went there to try to pick up some napkins and stuff. Uh, I think it might have been when coronavirus just started, and so I wanted to pick up some goods. I can't. No, actually, no. It's because it was a different reason. It was before coronavirus. Um, yeah, I just wanted napkins. It was expensive. I was like, oh, I don't feel like going to the other uh, the other pharmacy. Anyway, they had they had this stupid setup where everyone lines up as normal, and then there's the express self checkout line. Well, I noticed that there was a free machine and nobody was going on it, so I just walk over and then some dumb fucking cunt um, yelled at me. I think she, I, she was definitely a white woman. I think she was Jewish. And she's like, the Lord starts back here. And I'm like, and I get, I mean, I don't know, I just get really annoyed. And it says, the sign here says self-checkout is this way if you want to just speed up the process. I didn't say exactly, but I, said, but I pointed to the sign behind me. Self checkout line says starts here and just use this, and then she made like a funny face like, "Oh, I was wrong," but she didn't want to admit that she was wrong because, of course, who wants to admit they are wrong? And then that was that, and it's just like, yeah, like I don't like I don't like this shit, right? Because because there's one thing I do I look at a lot of things, but one thing I also look at is systems. 
right? CVS has it set up, and I don't think it's malicious or anything. It's just uh, somewhat incompetent, I guess. Uh, they just they have it set up that it's just, just a stupid. You have the you have the registers in front, and they have the one on the left, and then the line is like kind of like cutting into all of it. So like you have like it's it's not very clear, right? Especially in this day and age where everyone's getting angry about masks and shit. I could definitely see people getting into fights and stuff. It's like, you know, I, I still need to shop there. Plus, it was a ripoff, too. So it's like to, to, to waste the incentive uh, to just not go there. Problem is, I don't know if Target sells napkins anymore. Like, they, oh no, they still have to have them. They probably just moved it somewhere. Because everyone just kept buying all that shit up. Uh, but it's also cheaper, too, so... Company also rates full year profit got Moderna, blah, 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 okay, and they're doing a phase three vaccine shit on September. Disney stock extended overnight gains after mixed results. Okay. All right, this just looks to be, okay, can we just, um, all right, I'm just going to read this real fast. That the sides were a long way away from striking any kind of deal. Uh, last week, six hundred very fair like Spirely Texas Village where it's stuck. Oh, okay. So I understand now. I understand why the Democrats are delaying it because people are not getting their money, so they got to hold up the money just to piss off people more and then vote against Trump. Ah, uh, so evil. I hate that they always get away with this too. It's like. This year also said about the Democrats want three trillion in bullshit and the Republicans want one trillion in bullshit. Hmm. All right, and then blah 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 blah. All right, so we're not going to get our twelve hundred dollar checks anytime soon for sure. Virgin Atlantic airline files for U.S. bankruptcy protection. Uh, chapter fifteen, U.S. Federal Bankruptcy Court, activity in U.K. Blah 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 blah. Uh, or from a U.S. court to make terms you apply in the U.S. Okay. I, mean, I kind of don't really care now, but it's just... Uh, he holds 10%. So he doesn't even fully own this whole... Well, wow, that's kind of weird. All right, so airlines are going bankrupt, too. But on the other hand, I mean, as much as I like to want to respect Richard Branson because he's a pretty cool billionaire, I mean, he does have a lot of, like, left-wing leaning tendencies. So color me... Uh, like, you know, like, I mean, I don't want to say go F yourself, but I mean, just a couple notches away from that, I guess. Like, well, I mean, you do get what you deserve, right? You know, so maybe next time, side with the conservatives and fight against the lockdown bullshit, huh? The other investors are flying into, and that's our thumbnail, so okay, good. Yeah, but this is a good idea. Maybe it'll like a pop up. Hmm, interesting. The other investors are flying into Bitcoin in the pandemic, while the other old, while the older generation cannot get enough gold. All right. So the reason why I want to read over, how long is this? Or it's not too long, but yeah, it's definitely young versus old. The people want safety. That's what matters. Retail investors split down the middle by generation uh, over their favorite alternative assets. J.P. Morgan said, "Older investors want gold, while millennials and, of course, Zoomers want Bitcoin." It still doesn't mention uh, Zoomers, but I definitely know they're into crypto. Two cohorts share divergence their performance for alternative currencies. Jima Valley Gold hit a record high this week. 2K an ounce. Oh, wow. So is silver actually fucking doing something? Silver USD. Uh, wow, it's actually... It's still... It used to... It peaked at $45 an ounce. So this thing is still fucking trash. This is why I, this is why I don't like um, uh, you know old shit, right? Because we just don't make any money. Yeah, Bitcoin's up a lot. Yeah, well, so is crypto, all right? By like you know four x, five x compared to gold. So yeah, I'll pass. Two go show divergence of the pro, uh, preference for alternative current. Okay, oh, yeah, I already read that. Retail investors split down the middle over generation. Uh, boomers want gold. Two, okay, well, the others repeating the headline. Well, go ahead. Bitcoin exchange trade of funds are pretty strong in influence the past five months. As everyone realizes, everything's crap. Millennials in particular also want stocks. I know I'm one of them. Especially ones in tech. But the older investors are selling their equities. The team around. That's hilarious. Yeah, they really are buying into the whole, the whole world's collapsing shit. You know, that's probably like your old Benjamin shit. 
Young cohort, younger cohorts of U.S. retail investors show little interest in bond funds. They said, adding that uh, they also avoid equity funds, preferring to invest in equities directly by buying, uh, especially tech stocks. Yeah, I'm still in finance, but I would like tech stocks. Probably they're really expensive. Like if I had to pick just one, it's either gonna be Microsoft or um, SpaceX for sure. The older cohorts continue to deploy their excess liquidity into bond funds and blah, 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 uh, there's more. Uh, the parallel buying in uh, equities of Bitcoins by young people has increased the correlation between Bitcoin and S&P 500 index since March. Sabotage's flow of support has caused a change in the correlation pattern between blah, 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 blah. gold hit a record high. Uh, act as a measure of market anxiety, gold smashed through 2K. Last week, Bitcoin crossed 11K. Okay, and then there's more. I mean, I mean, we didn't cover this, but I mean, actually, did I say? Yeah, I, yeah, I was. Th I don't know. Did I say this already? Now I'm like thinking and then saying and then who knows. Uh, but just in case I did not, if Trump loses the election, he should totally be an asshole and then not concede the election, just like Joe Biden will, uh, was war gamed out to not concede the election. Uh, and accept the loss to Donald Trump. So the Democrats want to be fucking assholes. We should be even bigger assholes. So I'm kind of hoping Trump does that. But I don't know. We're, we're just going to have to see what happens. Because uh, he clearly understands that there's going to be mail-in voter fraud. So he also understands that everything's going to be stolen from him. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. All right. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we continue growing this channel. All right. So uh, Crux will be listing 100 coin very soon. Uh, whenever they get to it, uh, I repaid the fee like about. Actually, it was about. 10, 20, 30 minutes before I started the recording this video, so uh, whenever they get to it. Uh, yeah, and things are looking pretty good. Uh, again, I have to go over my email correspondence with them to uh, go over some stuff uh, and make more plans for the future. So anyway, I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, and yeah, enjoy your uh, enjoy your crypto gains. Uh, hopefully, uh, this will you know do its little thingy here yep just a chat jmc coin 404 coin soon to be 100 coin oh actually uh oh man do i really yeah i guess i should 100 coin oh wait yeah uh, i guess we'll leave this here uh 100 coin oh uh, yeah i i think the next time i'm going to I mean, I guess I could do it now, and I could reduce it because I do want to reduce the size. This thing's a little too big. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do that uh, off stream. I'll I'll, I'll re-upload a picture on the U uh, 100 coin Twitter, and then just make it smaller because I can't adjust the size on Bitcoin Talk for some reason. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. Uh, very sexy. Uh, well, not sexy, but very cool looking thumbnail.